All right, here's how you swap an outboard, redneck style. You got the pulley up there. Got the winch on the four-wheeler. The old motor on the boat. This homemade bracket I fabricated. You got the new motor in the background. You can see the size difference of the hoods. Yeah, 3,500 pound winch. And all my pull, my pulley and my, all of this is, this is like a thousand something pounds. This is a thousand pounds. Everything is rated enough to hold it. I mean, the motor only weighs 300 pounds, but if you do this, you better know what you're doing and make sure everything's rated to support the weight. But yeah, we got our pulley. Pulley up there is like 650 pounds. And we just got we just got to take the we already got a little bit of tension on it, but we got to take the bolts out. Put a little tension on it and then we're just going to lay it on the ground down here. We're just going to lay it on the ground down here and then put our new motor on. Put this on put this new motor on. And put the old motor on this stand. But yeah, like I said, if, you, if you're doing this, you better make sure that everything's strong, everything's perfect, because you do not want that thing, anything breaking or falling. It would not be good. But yeah, this tired old, this is a 79 Evinrude 140. And you can see it's just salt water motor, it's just corroded, it's all get out. Our new motor is nice and pretty. But uh, on these, you gotta look at the lifting capacity of these eyes and stuff, because these right here, I got it bolted, double bolted right here. So I got that one tight and then the one so it doesn't back off. But these eyes, when it's straight up and down like this, is full capacity. But as it starts, as you get, like when you get to 90 degrees, it's like, I don't remember the number, but you can look up the chart. It's way less lifting capacity. It cuts it down by like 80% or something. So you got to figure all that in and make sure it's all good before you do this. But straight up and down is good. It's a uh, full capacity. It can handle a full lifting capacity. We uh, make sure you disconnect. This is the trim wire. That's you disconnect your shift cables. Let me get over here. Disconnect your shift cables, and then your plugs, trim plug, and big red plug. Make sure it's all disconnected before you try to lift it off. Fuel lines. Everything disconnected. Yeah, we're just gonna take the bolts out and ease it up a little bit at a time with the winch. And then we're just gonna lay it down on the ground right here. So yeah, that's how you do it. You can't get much more redneck than this unless you put it up under a tree. But, I mean, we barely got it in here. You can see. If you had a T-top or something, it's gonna have to go up under a tree. Or a bigger shop. But yeah, that's how you do it. One more look. All right, y'all, rate, subscribe, like, subscribe. This helped y'all out. If y'all enjoyed this video, thanks.